Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days, set enmity aside. Remember death and decay and cease from sin. Think of the commandments. Hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. 
So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord peter approached jesus and asked him lord if my brother sins against me how often must i forgive as many as seven times jesus answered i say to you not seven times but 70 times 7 that is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, the fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he could pay back the debt now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to the master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to torturers until he should pay back the whole debt so will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> An inscription on a t-shirt in a seaside tourist shop window read, to err is human, to forgive is out of the question. It's funny, but sad at the same time, because it's probably how many otherwise good people feel about the topic of forgiveness. The actual proverb, as you know, says to err is human, but to forgive is divine. And that really is a wonderful uh, proverb that captures the entire wisdom and teaching of today's scriptures. Mistakes, failures, sins, intended or unintended, are part of being human. Forgiveness, mercy, and compassion are part of being God. It's human nature to make mistakes. It's God's nature to forgive. And according to both Sirach and Jesus, God wants us to forgive each other from the heart. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus even made this a rather dangerous proposition. You remember that line, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. With that in mind, listen again to the questions in our first reading. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself and then seek pardon for his own sins? 
Sirach certainly would expect everyone to answer, of course not. Yet it's hard for each of us to let go of the idea that we're always justified in our non-forgiveness of others while still expecting the forgiveness and mercy of God ourselves. In 1984, Bruce Goodrich was 20 years old, was being in, uh, initiated into the Corps of Cadets at Texas A&M University. One night, Bruce was forced to run until he dropped, and that's what he did. He dropped, but he never got up again. Bruce Goodrich died in a hazing accident even before he could enter college. A short time after the tragedy of, Bruce, of Bruce's death, his father wrote this letter to the administration, to the faculty, to the student body, and to the Corps of Cadets. I would like to take this opportunity to express my appreciation of my family for the great outpouring of concern and sympathy from Texas A&M University and the college community over the loss of our beloved son, Bruce. We were deeply touched by the tribute paid to him in the battalion. We were particularly pleased to note that his Christian witness did not go unnoticed during his brief time on campus. I hope it will be of comfort to know that we harbor no ill will in this matter. We know that our God makes no mistakes. Bruce had an appointment with his Savior, and now he is secure in his heavenly home. When the question is asked, why did this happen? Perhaps one answer can be, so that many more will consider where they will spend eternity. Sirach said, remember your last days, set enmity aside, cease from sin and overlooked faults. Of all the ways that Bruce's father could have handled the tragic death of his son, he made the right choice. He chose the one that most reflected the God of mercy and the God of forgiveness. This is what Jesus encourages you and me to do as well. church and parish community, that we may share all that God has given us with the poor and those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations, states, and cities may work to establish the justice of God throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For grandparents living and deceased, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families and communities suffering from division, alienation, and estrangement, that they may put aside anger and hate and seek together forgiveness and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ will raise up to the new life of his resurrection the souls of the faithful who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, may these prayers be a first step in removing anger and hatred from our world, and may they bring your limitless love and unconditional forgiveness into our own homes and schools, our parish and our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my and yours for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for our waywardness, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember the church spread throughout the world and bring to her the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas and Robert our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this time receive you in holy communion. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself completely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. so that its effects, and not our own desires, may always prevail in us, we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.